Welcome back. Let's move um, straight now to Nigeria's debt markets. Femi Akiyemi, fixed income dealer at Access Bank, joins me now. Good afternoon, Femi. Good to have you on the program. So what sentiment have you observed in the market today? Well, um, the bonds and the bills market have started off the week on a very quiet note. Um, just a um, few trades have been done in both markets. Uh, particularly the treasury bills market has been relatively flat. Although it opened with a bit of um, selling on the short tenor bills, that's bills less than 90 days. But afterwards, what we saw was just um, quite, quite market, uh, nothing happening on every other maturity. Uh, but for the bond market, um, which has been a bit more active compared to the treasury bills market, uh, what we've seen is just um, selling across board, um, coming from aggressive demand last week with some um, interest from the offshore. Opening the week today, what we've seen is just um, um, some selling across board, which has um, triggered an increase in yield by an average of 10 and 15 basis points um, across the curve. Now, it's the beginning of a new tr trading week. Uh, what are your expectations? What, do you, what are your outlook? What do you expect to see uh, as the week goes? Okay, well, um, after the um, OMO auctions that were conducted last week by the CBN, where they mopped um, about 400, over 400 billion, and then the market currently is just about 70 billion um, liquid, um, basically not much is happening, um, particularly in the treasury bills market. Um, we expect markets to be uh, bearish um, as it is, because the market is not very liquid. We expect to see more activity on the short-term ten of them bills. Uh, on the bond side, um, market is waiting on the auction calendar, which should be re released by DMO on Friday. That will give us um, an inkling into how much um, federal government is willing to borrow. Would they increase um, or would they reduce? That will give an insight also into um, where yield will go, how high or how low yield um, will move in the market, what yield movement will be basically. And um, although we've seen a bit of interest from the offshore um, in the last few weeks, but then um, that has um, dwindled, that has reduced um, lately, uh, particularly today, we haven't seen much. So all of this factors would um, determine my market um, direction in near time. Right, thank you very much, um, Femi. Thank you. We'll wait and see and see how the week runs there at the debt market. We'll move on now to Tunisia, which has reached a deal with protesters who have disrupted gas production by Petrofac for months, part of an effort to stop the British energy firm closing its business. Petrofac, which supplies 13% of Tunisia's gas through the Schengen venture in the south officially informed the government this week that it has started shutting down its local gas operations. Since January, Petrofac has had to interrupt gas production because of sit-ins by people seeking jobs. Violent protests erupted and the army intervened to protect the company's plant in southern Tunisia. A government official said talks were underway with Petrofac about restarting work. And that's it on the program for today. Thank you very much for being part of it. I'm Chimizi Obi Wago. Have a good afternoon.